Hello. Yes, hello. Hi, hello. How are you? I am fine. How are you, beautiful? Very good. Very good to see you. Good to see you because Nadine during the lockdown, ah, uh, yeah, finally <laughs> our day is made. <laughs> I'm so glad we did this. We've been talking about this since long time. So yeah, since quite some time, especially yeah. during lockdown, we don't get to meet, we don't get to catch up, and also at least we can see each other. And so listen, first of all, let's clarify one thing: Are you genetically blessed, or you are really working hard to maintain for so many years such beautiful figure? Because I'm jealous, honestly. Look at you! You got all abs. <laughs> I see your videos. You're rocking, babe. I should be saying that to you. I'm no. really, really proud of how you've maintained yourself. But yeah, thank uh, I you. Think, um, I think I have had a childhood. I have, I have always been very athletic when it comes to uh, my school days, my younger days. I was, uh, I used to do tracks. I used to run a lot. I've always been into sports. You know, so Super. I think that lifestyle has also kind of sculpted my body in a way. And now I'm just maintaining it with a healthy lifestyle. But I've always been like this. I've always been like this. So that's yeah, that's asking. what I'm saying. You are like never one inch upper niche and never. You're always maintaining so beautifully. But good to know you have always maintained a good lifestyle from the beginning. So now obviously it is much easier to. Yeah, there are many girls uh, to... like you around me. So I got I got to be at the top of my game. No? <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> very chan but tell me uh, you know you have been rocking in the modeling industry as well winning so many pageants and uh, yeah. so tell me what do you think uh, about size zero because there has been a time which everyone was going gaga and everyone was trying losing weight so what is really your take on it i am totally i really do not uh, promote or encourage those kind of insanity i think that's an obsession that is very hazardous to a uh, human being and uh, nobody should indulge in that or nobody should even slightly promote such activities uh, i remember when i was going for pageants and i was like rigorously following a diet working out two and a half hours a day you know i had Whoa. a really disciplined lifestyle and I, I, i'm really proud that i went through what i went through but i was also maintaining a diet but I, my, my dietitian told me you know eat whatever you feel like because i know you're really working hard so when you work so hard two and a half hours a day when you work out i think you kind of uh, you uh, you are you have the right to satisfy your uh, cravings if you get a craving you know i think you, you should eat what you feel like because that's your body your body tells you that it needs something and it has to be satisfied immediately so i don't think in like i don't believe in uh, starving i don't believe in uh, making my body go through something painful like that i, I wouldn't promote that absolutely that's i'm i'm well, glad you I, you said that were, yeah I, uh, since you asked me that question i would like to tell you two days were like the most worst days of my life when i was supposed to do a bikini shoot right before my pageant so i went like uh, like off cups i was anyway off cups for a couple of uh, days months actually so i I was totally um, no salt for two day, one day. I decided not to have any salt, um, no okay. water. That's the okay. worst I did to my body, and I sh wouldn't tell anybody to do it again. And I would never do it again. So I, yeah. I was only it really exhausts you, right? Food. Yeah, because I wanted my body to look very ripped in front of the camera, and that I was supposed to do it for one day. I had no water. I was only eating orange slices, and then my shoot got postponed because of some circumstances that oh. came up. one more day i had to do the same thing and my brain couldn't i couldn't think straight my brain wasn't functioning well like I, it was i could understand that people are talking to me and i was responding very slowly my energies were not right my yeah. pictures were mind blowing you know my pictures were great but what i went through for those two days i don't think anybody should go through exactly i think this is a great message you know because many people yeah. are still like obsessing about how to be size zero but i think it's not about size zero it's about being healthy feeling healthy and looking good and healthy as well and, and we don't need to be like so tiny because it's it's not looking nice also i think we should all look like a human as well right and promote I think healthy size lifestyle zero should be like an illegal <laughs> i swear let's like make size zero illegal i yeah, think no we should all be I think so everyone will be happy when there's a little bit of fat on the face, a little bit of chubbiness. Yeah, down, you know. Following. Are so you exercising even during lockdown? 
regularly or how are you like now taking care of yourself because you know gyms are closed so it's tough so gyms are closed and that's really uh, something that we all need in our lives even but you know with my crazy lifestyle i used to travel a lot so anyway i couldn't go to the gym like every day you know so right. i have these uh, since it's been a lockdown since so many months i have arranged for some a resistance band my dumbbells and kettlebell is there for my rescue so i've been doing some uh, training at my place you know so nice yeah it's coming really handy for me and i have got really helpful neighbors who help me with all the things if i need so uh, that's um, i'm grateful to all the people i'm surrounded by that's really nice man so you are sorted i don't yeah. have all the dumbbells and all so i'm using my own body weight to just try to stay in shape but that that works also quite okay so yeah, it's nice to experiment you know really when the stores were shut i was using those big water cans the big yeah. water cans this big like a 5 liter yeah. one i was using right. the two of those as my dumbbells and pumps <laughs> But you see, hello, you are creative. You managed very well. So, so tell me how you're staying motivated. Of course, now such a spoiled child, and now you're not having gym. So now you are gymming all by yourself. Now you have to do all household work. So how do you stay motivated I, I and still like, positive I and smiling? Like, I feel like the Tom Hanks in Castaway. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> oh so my god. I think it's not that difficult you know it's not difficult it's only difficult until you do it once you start doing it it's kind of uh, it's achievable and i never thought it's going to be that easy it's so good right. so you know the daily chores is so much in the house that you have to do it since i'm staying alone you know there's no mom um there's no help no nobody no family member so you got to work on yourself to keep yourself motivated right. you know just i listen to some good music i listen to some spiritual uh talks by sadguru uh, i really hey i do the same i really like this guy oh, isn't he yeah brilliant? i just oh, love he, how he has his approach towards life and and it's super and how he explained very logically he explained many yeah, things he makes in life sense, right yeah yeah that's so really I good think- and he he speaks in a way our generation will understand and absorb right he yeah so he's not like those asta channel kind of people he he <laughs> he's something else are you are too good you are too good so but I listen how should, i feel i should just shut up because sometimes i should just keep my mouth shut <laughs> No, it's a fun chat. Nobody's judging. We're all here for you know yeah. having a nice conversation. You know, you know, but I mean, when I say he's he's something else, he's really yeah, he's good. <laughs> so, but listen, you have glowing skin. How do you manage? What are your tips? Look, it's you. I mean, it's always you flawless. Exactly what are you doing for your skin? No, I want to know from you. <laughs> you 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 spill out some beans, Claudia. I want to know what do you do for your skin. <laughs> You know, I eat a lot of fruits, vegetables because I always believe you have to nourish your body from inside. Whatever mm-hmm. creams you are using, it's of course very important. Mask creams, and you know, I I do aloe vera kind of, but the fresh one, I just keep oh, yeah. applying that. So that's so, really good. I but I also aloe think aloe vera is one blessing. Of the yeah. Or yeah. But I I strongly believe until and unless you know you don't nourish yourself your skin your your hair your your even nails will not be growing will not be glowing so mm-hmm. I think uh, this is the step number one step number two is all the essentials which you are using afterwards like applying on your skin so what are your tips so I do a lot of like you said you know the nourishment has to be from within. So I, yeah. I I eat all the multivitamins, vitamin C's, and all the essential nutrition that uh, and vitamins that your body needs for your skin, hair, and nails. So I eat all those supplements, uh, which everybody should take. You know, they are available easily over the counter. You should buy antioxidants. So uh, these are some few things that I cannot start begin my day without. You know, so I need these either in the morning or at least before sleeping. And then you know, vitamin C serum for my skin. and uh, as cliched as it sounds you know drinking water is so important and so i am somebody who stay hydrated is reminded to drink water because uh, i do everything else but then i forget because there's so much eating happening i eat every 2 hours <laughs> you know right. then in between that i have to fill my water intake also 
so it's, it becomes too much. So I have to constantly keep reminding myself drink water. Drink water. Okay, listen. Let's yeah. have some fun. And I prepared a rapid fire round for you, which is of course based on nutrition. Easy questions, but you have yeah. no time. You have to answer immediately. And even if you can't relate to any of it because you have never done that, still you have to choose yeah. one of the options I give you. Okay, fine. Okay, that ready? <clears throat> yeah. Choose one. Pilates or gym workout? Gym workout. Okay. So can you have raw eggs in the morning? No way. I would <laughs> rather die. <laughs> Ew. I've had, you know, I've had raw eggs when I broke my hand. So my right hand was fractured for, and plastered for one and a half months. So my doctor used to tell me eat raw eggs and I never ate those. Yeah. Never, right? Oh, I even grew. I, <laughs> I love your reaction. Okay, <laughs> so what do you prefer, running on the beach or climbing the mountains? Running on the beach, of course, any day. Ah. Okay, yeah. samosa or sandwich? Uh, actually, sandwich. I'm more really? of a sandwich person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a sandwich person. Okay, so um, giving a choice, veg or uh, vegan? I can never be vegan. Vegetarian. Let's stick to vegetarian. Okay. I was okay. vegetarian for one and a half months, you know. Okay, so black coffee with coconut oil or chai without sugar? Black coffee with coconut oil. I've never uh, had it. So I would still have a black coffee because I can't have chai without sugar. So black <laughs> okay. coffee with any oil you want to add. <laughs> As long okay. As it's not grease. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. But Listen, I have carbohydrates, I have fat, and I have protein. You have to kill one, marry one, and make a body of one. What would that be? Marry protein. Okay. Kill car carbohydrates. Uh, you will do what? Kill carbohydrates, marry protein. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and what? Date what? Fat, fat, you, you would yeah, make buddy. Yeah. Okay. It will be my but listen, so you will kill carbohydrates, mean you will kill vegetables, you will kill like fruits, you can live without that? No, there are, see, I can't live, honestly, I can't live without any of these. But since you gave huh? me a rapid fire, I have to say something. So that's how, how it will go. I mean, if I had to choose okay. something for all of them. Okay. So it was such fun talking to you. Thank you it for was having so fun. Thank you, Claudia, for having me on your show. And, Yay! Uh, and for uh, lockdown, we should catch up live, you know. I know and discuss right? rest That's of it. The only way. There but is so I much of gossip pending. Normal, we should catch up. I know, we should. Finger. Mm, All right, girl. Be safe, right, be healthy, so be happy. And yes, we, will, yes, we will call and gossip. Privately now. <laughs> okay, yeah, bye, bye bye. bye, -bye.